Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, Mina, Nevada is once again rocking it and rolling. There was a magnitude 5.5 earthquake that USGS once again downgraded to a 5.3. 242 people reported feeling this earthquake. Felt reports came as far as San Jose, California and what, Las Vegas. Just six months ago, there was a magnitude 6.5 uh, near this same location. And using Google here, Earth, here's the 5.5, here's the 6.5. Just a few minutes after the 5.5 that they downgraded to a 5.3, there was a 5.2 that they downgraded it to a 4.3 talking about taking some steep steep downgrades um, there was another 4.3 that they reported and in all let's go up here they're reporting um, in the last week in this location 236 earthquakes let me pull this over so you can see the location of all these earthquakes and I'll bring it out This earthquake occurred at 1.13 a.m. local time. And this has got a lot to do with the uh, Pacific Plate sliding underneath the North American Plate. Yeah, things are definitely rocking and rolling in the year 2020. Here we got um, Mono Lake. And I've talked about um, the fault line that runs all the way here from Mina to uh, Mono Lake. And I did a report yesterday about the San Andreas Fault and how they are affecting the uh, earthquakes there in Lake County, California. Been having some small earthquakes, but it's all related to uh, the tectonic plates moving. As, and then, as you know, the North American plate is slowly moving southwest. And then, of course, down south here, yeah, we got a lot of um, volcanism yeah we got the mammoth lakes we got glass mountain um, i got a lot of the fault lines drawn out i don't know if you can see it um, they may look small but they're really not that small and narrow here we got um cal track mountain fault and there's another one that's over here coldell fault and we'll come up to this swarm that's going on again there in Mina. I would not be one bit surprised if the uh, Wasatch Fault starts acting up today or maybe even tomorrow because of the movement of the North American plate. Yeah, it's these earthquakes are slowly moving across the country. Yeah, I am sure there is damage being a magnitude 5.5. I don't care how much they want to downgrade it. The only reason they downgrade it is because people will be asking questions about why is there an increase in earthquakes around the world? And people would probably get a little bit more prepared for a great disaster because that will be coming one day, who knows when, but yeah, large earthquakes will be coming soon. That 6.5 occurred on May 15th of this year, earlier this year. Um, it had a depth of 2.8 kilometers. Whereas this 5.5 that they downgraded to a 5.3 was also very shallow. The shallower the earthquake, the more damage, the more shaking. It was 4.8 kilometers in depth. So that would be about 2.9 miles, almost 3 miles deep. And like I said, 242 people reported feeling this earthquake. I have to give a shout out to my Aunt Nancy who lives in Las Vegas there. Yeah, she sent me a text message about this. According to some spokesman, I have no idea who, who gave a quote to uh, CNN. Um, they said this is the most earthquakes that they've had in 66 years. And the count right now is up to 303 earthquakes. That's a lot of earthquakes. So all I can say is check for damage. Uh, check your chimneys. If there's a crack in um, any of the chimneys, you could have CO2. Um, venting into your homes and yeah that would be horrible to have to send someone out to do a welfare check because no one's seen you or your children or 
your pets in a few days. Um, always be prepared for a disaster. Please stay safe. If you felt this earthquake, quake, please put your comments down below. How long did it last? Um, what did it feel like? What did you notice with the shaking? Um, yeah, once again, please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.